What's up, YouTube? Today I am making a new video. I haven't done one of these in a while. I'm gonna go through the majority of my manga collection today. Okay, here we go. First off, we got Inoue Santos One Shot Volume Number One. We got Tokyo Tribe in Japanese. We got the English version of Tokyo Tribe Two, Tokyo Tribes Volume One through Five. Only the first six volumes were published in English. Then we got Tokyo Tribe 2, number 9 through 12. 12 was the final volume. Uh, Tokyo Tribe 3, volume 1 through 5, complete. Tokyo Graffiti, number 1 and 2. Number 2 was in there. This um, camera is not picking up the light that good. But anyway, got Tokyo Burger, one volume complete. Got Dan the Barbarian, volume 1 of 2. Um, got the... Um, Tokyo Tribe um, Magazine. Um, then here we have my Yoshio Sawa collection. I have Bobo 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 Bo, Bo, Japanese Volume 1, 13, 16, 17, 20, 21. Then I have Shintetsu Bobo 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 Bo, Bo, Complete Volumes 1 through 7. Then I have Yoshio Sawa's failed manga that only ran for 8 chapters in Jump called Chagecha. Then I have those crappy American Boba Boba volumes. The ones that started at volume 10 and this one volume wasn't even numbered. Then they started the series from volume 11 but labeled it volume 1. And they only published um, 11 through 15 as 1 through 5 and they just canceled it without even putting out an announcement. Screw you guys. Then I have, uh, let's see, come on, come on. Don't collapse. Don't collapse. Don't collapse. Uh, Yoshio Sawai's children's book, um, Kirincho no Bake Festa, um, which is a really cool book. Some of the illustrations are in color, some are in grayscale, black and white, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then some more Japanese volumes. I have. Cuffs Volume 8, which is a Young Jump Sanin manga from the 90s. It's pretty cool looking. It's like gangs and stuff. It's got some pretty intense fight scenes in it. Um, then I have Toy Volume 7, which is a Shonen Sunday manga about music from, I'm guessing, in the 80s because this art style show looks like 80s style people. Because <laughs> it's like pop art style and stuff. It's pretty cool. But um, then I have Arabian Majin Bogotan Lamp Lamp, one of Takeshi Obata's older series. This actually has very good art. I kind of like his style, like this, a little bit better than his current stuff. Because to tell you the truth, after Bakuman, his art, it looks weird, to tell you the truth. Because like his new series that, what is it, Everything is a Kill or something like that, it's not that good looking in the art. Um, then I have Bakuman. I have one through six Japanese. I have no clue where volume two is. But, yeah. Then I have Bastard, volume five. Bills Above, volume one. Enigma, volume one. Hana Tokeji, which is a samurai manga that is drawn by the same guy who drew Fist of the North Star, Tetsu Ohara. And it's actually Shonen Jump's 35th best-selling manga. At 17 million volumes. That's crazy. How was the 35th best selling? Sell 17 million volumes. It's people in them who do American comics that would kill to get a thousand. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I got volume three of that. I got Kagi Jean. Where is it? Right here, yeah. Volume two. I need to get volume one. It's only two volumes. It got canceled, but it's one of my favorite Shonen Jump mangas ever. Then I got to Lock On, Volume 1. I need to get the rest of those. This is one of my favorite Shonen Jump mangas ever. That got canceled, unfortunately. Then I got Metallica Metaluca. It was a bit like Dragon Ball, but it was really cool. So it's one of my favorite Shonen Jump mangas. But I guess that's why I got canceled. I guess they noticed the similarities. Then I got Shin Takarajima by Osamu Tezuka. If you ever get the chance to get Japanese manga, get this. Because every single person in Japan who so-called wants to be a manga artist has read it. And you should research it to see why it was such a big hit manga. But anyway, then I have, let's see here, Pipo Chu, Volume 1 and 2 in Japanese. Then I have all three 
in English. And for those of you who don't know, it was drawn by Felipe Smith, the same guy who drew this manga for Tokyo Pop, MBQ. And he went to Japan and did Peepo 2 in um, monthly, what was it, month, yeah, monthly morning 2, which is a shonen, uh, excuse me, shonen, a seinen manga magazine that's ran by Kodansha. If you don't know who Kodansha is, you have no clue about anything about the manga business. Just got to say that. But, um... Then, okay, my favorite manga, my favorite shonen manga anyway, One Piece. I got volume 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 21, 25 through 38, then 42, 43, 44, 52, 53, and 57. Then I got Dragon Ball, volume 2, 4, and 12. Then I got the Dragon Ball Z Viz Big Edition Volume 1, which is Volumes 1, 2, and 3 in one book. Then I have Volumes 4, 8, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 19, 20, and 26. Then we got my Naruto. I got 1, 4, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. <clears throat> Move this out of the way. 29, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 47. Then I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1. Then Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Volume 1, which is Volume 8 in Japan. Then, uh, let's see. Shaman King Volume 1. And Tiger and Bunny Volume 1. Ooh, um, hey, so dark down here, even though it's daytime, it's not even 12 o'clock yet. Ugh, darn. Can I use the focus on here? Nope. Got Yu Yu Hakusho, oh, screw it. I, I just, I, yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho, 1, 11, and 12. Hunter, Hunter, 9, and 10. Blue Dragon, Rao Grod, which is just a Rao Grod in America. 1 and 2. Black Cat, 1 through 5. Air Gear, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 14. Buso Rinkin, Volume 1 and 2. Gunblaze West, 1 and 2. Bleach, 25 and 29. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, 10 and 16. The English Bakuman, 7 and 11. Dead Man Wonderland. Good gosh, it's so dark. Screw this dark house. But, um... Uh, I'm gonna pull the volumes out. Eee, come on, come on. Yeah, blah, blah. Dead Man Wonderland Volume One. Um, whew. at large volumes one, two, and three. Um, Battle Royale Volumes Five. And six, it's a really good saying in manga. Dead Man Wonderland is also. Matt Tokyo Pop Clothes, because we need these volumes in English, man. Love Dead Man Wonderland. <clears throat> but, um, Saint Seiya, aka Knights of the Zodiac, volume seven. Fairy Tale, one. Gosh, this camera's so dark. <sighs> Sheesh. Fairy Tale 1 through 7 before Del Rey closed down. <laughs> okay, and now down here we have the mangas that I rarely read, which is why they're on the bottom shelf. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> we have, oh, this piece of crap here. It's a manga I bought at a convention by some black guy from Savannah. Who was like overly into Naruto because his art style looks straight Kishimoto ripoff. I hate art styles like that. And then not only that, he just he ripped off parts of Naruto. Like there's this part where the dude dies and goes to a campfire with his mom, just like how Kakashi died and went to the uh, campfire with his dad. I was like, really, dude, you suck. <laughs> but um, I just bought it because at the time I was into Naruto. Um, we got Orange Crows, Volume 1, 
which was a really good American manga by Tokyo Pop, but they're gone, so no more Orange Crows, at least not by them. Um, Fist of the Blue Sky, volume, what's this, volume 3, which is a prequel to Fist of the North Star, it also has an anime, and the art is freaking amazingly detailed. <laughs> Go Tetsu O'Hara, and it's amazing, because you, cause you guys know Tetsu O'Hara can only see out of one eye now. Basically, he can still see out of both, but one of them is so far gone that he might as well just be blind in it. And the reason this came is because when he was doing Fist of the North Star, and for you guys who are reading this, you should you see how detailed his art is. And, you know, they had to do that stuff, you know, 15 pages a week. So he said that he was literally staying up two and three days just to complete a few pages and he developed some technique where he would let half of his body rest or something like that. But anyway, he ended up almost blind in one eye. So he can't ink his own artwork anymore, but he can still pencil it. But, um, because he doesn't have depth perception that good. But, um, okay, next manga. A crappy Digimon Zero Two manga. <sighs> That's usually what happens when they take an anime and make a manga out of, out of it instead of the other way around. It's usually crappy. Um, Cyborg 009 by one of my greatest influences ever, Shitaro Ishinomori. For those who remember when they showed Cyborg 009 on Tsunami, thumbs up to you. But those who don't know Shitaro Ishinomori, he created Cyborg 009, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, aka Power Rangers, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And he is in the Guinness Book of World Records for most comics published by one person. Yes, the creator of Power Rangers drew more manga than anybody else on the planet. Ah, the more you know. Um, King of Thorn, Volume 1, which I need to go hunt now in those Tokyo Pop volumes because this manga is really good. I know I can read it online, but I still rather have the volumes. Oh, another Tokyo Pop original English manga that <laughs> apparently won't see the light of day anymore called Snow. It's very good. Very good. And I like the art style. It's all cartoony. But, um... We got Legends, which was a monthly Shonen Jump manga. Rest in peace, monthly Shonen Jump. Replaced by Jump Square. Well, it's Q, as some people call it. But yeah, it was a really good manga. It was like Pokemon. And it actually inspired me to draw my current manga, actually. Uh, we got Idiots, another Tokyo Pop American manga that was actually really good. But Tokyo Pop's gone, at least in America. So screw you, Stu Levy. King City, another American Tokyo Pop manga. Yes, I had a lot of these. Because, I mean, come on, it was American manga. Who didn't want to read that? <laughs> yeah, um, let's see. Baron Gong Battle, Volume 6. Which I thought was a Satan manga. By the way that it's drawn. And just by the storyline. I mean, come on. Because, like, there are these people in here. Who have, like, powers and stuff. And it's like this lady, she's like, it's basically her sweat, but she basically, basically she has ice orgasms. And I was like, what? Yeah, her power is called Glacial Love Juice. I was like, really? Wow. But, um, Gone, which is an extremely detailed manga about a dinosaur who somehow survived the extinction of the dinosaurs. And it has no words and it's extremely detailed. You can read it online. Uh, o Parts Hunter, aka 666 Satan, by the creator of Blazer Drive, who is Masashi Kishimoto's twin brother, Seishi Kishimoto. ID Entity, Volumes 1 and 2, known in Korea as Eureka. It's a Korean manhwa, and it's very good. It's my favorite manhwa. I actually need to finish reading it, because last time I checked, it was still going in Korea. It was on like Volume 25. I don't know if it's ended yet. Um. Aranya, The Heart of the Spider, and Live Wires. Ultimo, Blade for Barter, which was an American manga. And it's pretty cool looking. Inspired by One Piece in the art style a little bit. Um, Vampire Hunter D. Another good Sanin manga. The video games are cool and the animes. Biomega, which is a really good sane in manga. Vagabond by the legendary Takahiko Inoue. This is the Viz Big Edition. It's three volumes in one. It's volume, I think, seven through nine. It's amazing. Domo-kun. 
and crayon shin chan all right bye bye folks